Have you ever heard someone compare themselves to Galileo? Well, it has a name. It's called the Galileo Gambit. And while it's used to suggest that a consensus is wrong, it has several key flaws. Galileo Galilei was a 17th century astronomer who was convicted by the church in part for promoting heliocentrism, the idea that the sun and not the earth was the center of the universe. The Galileo Gambit claims that since Galileo opposed the consensus of his time and was right, that those opposing a consensus today are also right. This argument commits the false equivalence fallacy, which compares things that aren't comparable, like scientific knowledge from 400 years ago and today. Galileo improved the telescope's magnification from 3x to almost 30. You could see something similar with low to mid power binoculars or this costume accessory. Kids' telescopes magnify over 100 and professional ones by thousands. The James Webb Telescope orbits the sun and is currently a million miles from Earth, capturing breathtakingly detailed images of the cosmos. The point is, today's consensuses are significantly more supported and therefore less likely to change than in Galileo's time. The Galileo Gambit is also based on flawed assumptions. The idea that a lone genius can overturn everything we know might be alluring, but it's largely a myth. Even Galileo didn't work in isolation. Heliocentrism had been proposed by Copernicus decades earlier. And despite geocentrism being the prevailing consensus, many of Galileo's peers accepted the Copernican model. Also, while Galileo's work was foundational, it wasn't the final story. He was right that the Earth revolved around the Sun, but he also thought the Sun was the center of the entire universe. Today we know the Sun is just one star in the Milky Way galaxy, which itself is one of billions of galaxies in a vast universe. Finally, Galileo wasn't persecuted by scientists, but by the Church. Scientists debated his findings and demanded more evidence, but they did update their beliefs and built on them for the next four centuries. The church, on the other hand, banned Galileo's teachings and put him under house arrest for heresy. In fact, the church didn't formally clear Galileo's name until 1992. The point is, Galileo wasn't stubbornly disagreeing. He brought the receipts. Ironically, those who invoke Galileo in the name of science actually have more in common with the ideologically motivated church. So before comparing yourself to Galileo, make sure to bring evidence.